Good news, it appears as if my keys have come in today. I will just open this up and just kind of shake it out, let it go. And then this fella here was having some issues with the step motor. So I've taken it apart, looked at it, trying to troubleshoot, trying to figure out what's going on. When I more than made it, this year we kind of just... Well, you made it, but you zonked out very quickly and the next day you were shot. There was no next day yeah. for you. We've been here for a few days and uh, we're all set up. But there's a problem. Yeah, we found out this morning the water's off. Apparently there's a leak. Somewhere in the uh, campground here at Thousand Trails Orlando, there's a water issue. So it's affecting everyone. We also had another problem. You want to tell them? Because I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> we brought the e-bikes. Oh. Well, we brought the e-bikes, but I cannot find the keys. Well, but tell him what you did. He put him in such a great place. He was like, I'm, I don't want to lose these. I'm going to put this in this great place. We'll never lose them, and we're good to go. And then what So happened? we've been searching for a few days to find the keys. I've gone through the Jeep multiple times. I've been through the RV multiple times, trying to rack my brain, figure out what I did with the keys. Yep. So finally, I said, you know what? Let me have our son, who's back home in Maryland, check in the class C. And sure enough, they were in the class C. And I don't know why, because we're never going to use the bikes while we're in the class C. Unless we get a trailer. Unless and I don't we're think to, we're getting a trailer. <clears throat> unless we were to get a trailer or a rack from the back of it. We're not going to. And right now, we're not. So, no. um, the last place you would look is in the class C. <laughs> I don't know how they got in there. Because it's the holiday weekend, which is New Year's weekend, we can't have them set overnight until the day out uh, January 2nd. We will get them on the 3rd, actually. Yeah. We'll get them Wednesday. So, we're without e-bikes right now. I think you can still use the e-bikes to just pedal them, you know, without the power assist and all that other stuff. But, no, no, there's fun. not fun. That's not fun. We'll just <laughs> walk. We also have something that was really exciting. And um, the other night we went to the airport. We made a quick trip to the airport, picked up Casey, our daughter Casey. We knew that she was going to come down for a week during, she was going to come during the Tampa show, but you know, life changes, things happen, and she decided she could spend more time with us, so she's down right now, and we are loving it. Well, we love having Casey with us. We love having our kids with us, period. So anytime we can have one of the kids with us, we love it. Now she's going to, how long she stays with us, I can't tell you. Maybe she'll stay with us the entire time we're down in Florida. She will be at the Tampa show with us. She'll Walk be around. at the Tampa show. Um, she also gets her prosthetics worked on down here in the Orlando area yeah. so hopefully she can get an appointment in to do that and uh, take care of some things and uh, it's, it's great we're excited well awesome. we got together with some friends last night to celebrate New Year's just yeah. enjoy the food from Dahlia and Enrique yes and we had a great time and we're getting ready to take Tucker for a walk so we're looking forward to this week and just it's great to be back down in Florida back in the weather the weather's decent it's a little cool but it's still nice and it's sunny We'll take it. Well, yes. is it called it sunny? Okay, we'll take I guess. It. Yes. Okay. This is great weather. I'm in a t shirt okay. and, you know, it's all good. Yep. So let's go get Tucker. All right. We go for a walk? Come on, fella. Let's go. Let's go for that walk. That's <laughs> it. What? Oh, man. This campground's fantastic. It's our favorite, my favorite TTO. It's one of your favorite places. No matter what. Yeah. Well, it's it's Florida and lots of walking, lots of biking. Oh, that's right. We don't have keys. What'd you say about the keys? I said lots of biking and walking. But, oh, we don't have keys. Yeah, Chris. I know. <laughs> I know what everyone's gonna say. You have two keys per bike. Put one in one spot and one in the other. And yeah, I got it. I've been told that about ten times already. <laughs> Everybody's telling me the same thing. All right. Yeah. Uh, is the water back on? Yes. It's back on. Did you turn the um, water pump on? No. Okay. Then yeah, okay. I can finish the clothes. Which goes back to, we should have mentioned this when we said the water was out. I forgot to fill up 
the fresh water tank. I had about a quarter of a tank, maybe a third. But that's why you really should fill up your water tank when you arrive on site. Even if you have full hookups, put some extra water in your water tank in case you lose water for whatever reason. And this has happened to us a few times. I think a lot of people will mention losing the power. Yes. You know, but very few will mention you, you can lose the water pressure for what, whatever reason. So this is like the second or third time, the third time, three times that we've had the water, water, issues, yes. water issue. Well, it's not really an issue. It's an issue with the campground. But as long as you keep water in your tank you're, and you got your water pump, you should be good to go. So, sure. Ready for another day? Another day. Well, day, day's almost over now. Oh, that's true. You guys are late sleepers. We were up late. It was New Year's Eve. Okay. Well, what's late we to you? Late. We were up to almost midnight. Uh, almost. We couldn't quite make it. We couldn't quite make it. Unlike minutes. last year in Cedar Key, oh, we were when up. I more than made it, this year we kind of just... Well, you made it, but you zonked out very quickly. And the next day you were shot. There was no next day yeah. for you. Thanks for letting everyone know that. You're welcome. All right. Gotta be honest, keeping it real. Yeah, we are. This is true. Back to work. Okay, look at this. We still continue to deal with this. Man, one just landed on my neck. No lie. So, we brought the uh, stink bugs down from Maryland. And what happens when it gets cold, they kind of like just huddle in masses. I guess they, I don't know, they go dormant, they hibernate or whatever. So, as soon as it warms up, they all come back to life. So since we've been here, all I've done and Katrina's done is we just grab these stink bugs and it doesn't do any good to squash them because then it, it reeks. What I do is I just grab a tissue, right? So I'll grab a tissue or a paper towel. I'll just go up here. And if I had gloves, I would use gloves, but I just grab them. And then I will, I will just open this up. and just kind of shake it out, let it go. And then this fella here, I'll just like knock him out. Get him outside. Now, like I said, those of you who are unfamiliar with stink bugs, they they reek, they just leave a nasty smell. Look, there's another one over here. So isn't this fun? Oh, there's actually two. So here we go. So you can see it, grab him. And then I'll go over here and I'll grab him open up the door and I will just shake it. I'm sure when they fly over to another rig and they ha hang out in another rig, somebody's gonna be very happy. You folks from Maryland bringing the stink bugs down and they just pop up everywhere. When I was back in Maryland, it, look, there's another one. It just it never, it's never ending. Anyway. As I was telling you guys, we're here, we're set up. I was having some issues with the step motor. So I've taken it apart, looked at it, trying to troubleshoot, trying to figure out what's going on. And when I disassembled the motor from the frame and took it apart, looked at the gears, they seemed to work fine, took the, uh, took the uh, step actuator off, looked at it so when you plug it in and open and close the door the motor everything seems to work fine let me see if i can show you i'm going to take this we're going to connect the power back to it when i open and shut the steps it's working now sounds like it's working just fine to me so i'm going to reassemble it back to the steps and the connection to the step assembly and see if it makes that noise again. And um, I'm hoping I don't have to replace the entire motor assembly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this assembly back on.
Go ahead and open it. Go ahead and close it. That sounds like a gearbox to me. Try that again. Go ahead and open it. Go ahead and close it. All right. So after some careful thought and evaluation, it sounds to me like it's the gearbox. Um, although I took the gearbox uh, off and I looked inside it, everything looked fine. It sounds like it's slipping. It sounds like something it's not fully engaging the whole way in and out. So I'm gonna start with the gearbox. Unfortunately, it's like a $240 product and I will uh, put an order in for that. I don't know how soon I can get it, whether or not I can get it before we leave or I'll have to arrange it for it to be dropped off at another spot or a future spot. So we'll start with that. Good news, it appears as if my keys have come in today. So I want to run over to the, run over to the post office here, or the uh, office over TTO, and let's see if it's in there. That's good news. That way uh, we still have plenty of time to enjoy the e-bikes and also to make sure we have them when we get to Fort DeSoto. Apparently, Fort DeSoto is a very popular place or a really good place to have e-bikes or ride bikes in that area, but we're gonna find out in a week. I'm just gonna run inside real quick if they're still open. Hopefully they're still open. Hi, hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. You're welcome. Sorry. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? Uh, I should have a package arrive for me. What's the last name? Balafato. Do you have your ID with you? I do. And is that going to be cash or card? Cash. Cash. It'll just be $5. And then here's that for you as well. Okay, we're good? Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, I'm okay. Interesting. Got my package. You stay, you stay at TTO, you're going to pay $5 per package. You gotta pay five dollars per package. So the lady in front of me, three packages, five dollars a pop. So do everything you can to try to get as many products delivered in one package. Cut down on the number of packages. Okay, so there are the bikes. Let's rip this open. Okay. Man, I sure hope these are it. Yep, there it is. All right, let me go ahead and set the bike up. Got this. Oh, backwards. Nice. Just in case you guys don't know, we love our JC on bikes. I'll leave a link in the description down below. We love our bikes. They've been fantastic to us. How about that? So we're good. This thing still has a full charge. We have not used this for at least a couple months. We have the keys. Now, I know what some of you are going to say. Separate the keys. Separate them. I'm going to do that. That's not going to happen again. Let me go share the good news with Katrina. We are good. Keys are good. Sorry about the TV noise. Katrina can't help herself. The bike still has a full charge. So, how about that? Which one? Well, the yours. I, I only tried yours. Oh, okay. So, okay. We're getting ready to go out. Go hang next door with Mike and Susan. And hang out with some other folks, Nick, Peggy, a few other folks. You're just going to hang out, have a good time, and uh, enjoy 
this nice cool evening.